Okay, Joint Manager Luke Garrett, before we head to Solihull Moors tomorrow evening, uh, Gaffer, we'll quickly just reflect on, on Saturday. Have you had time to watch that back and, and what are your final takeaways from, from the game? Exactly as I saw it on Saturday. Um, lack of quality in the final third. A lot of missed opportunity, especially from restarts and the, the sort of scrambles that we had in both boxes, in both halves. Um, the game wasn't about what went on in between it and I felt that they had a bit of quality, whether that was the cross from Evans and the, the initial header from Harker to give them the lead and then we have that initial bit of quality from Wheelow to go and get the goal with Lee Enlove and then within two minutes of that goal we go and concede again. Um, lack of concentration, lack of endeavour to defend in a wide area, um, but huge frustration. Um, parked it as soon as we possibly can, prepped um, Solihull, ready for them. They had a fantastic result, yes, on penalties against Willstone on Saturday, but they'll be full of confidence, sitting pretty high in the division and into the semi-final of the trophy. So we know the beast that we'll be facing tomorrow. You mentioned lack of um, lack of concentration. We, we sit 19th in the division now. Is that the biggest frustration for you this season? Is it maybe in moments that your, your team has lacked concentration? The gates of results even bigger now. Let's have it right. Them, them two points are massive. That set us some 46 points, um, five points off the bottom four. There's teams that would have been below us with a game in hand, but that's shoulda, coulda, wouldas. We got to look at. We got nine games to have an impact. It's a nine-game season. It's that. It's that simple. We need to ensure that we hit points tally that we feel is going to be enough, and we need to hit that sooner rather than later. We got some real tough fixtures coming up, starting with Solio on Tuesday. We then have Altrincham here, and we have Chesterfield, who I believe will be crowned before us uh, to win the league. So I'm under no illusions. We need to make sure that we stick together, have a right go tomorrow evening and hopefully start that week with a positive win. Yeah, looking at Solio then, you mentioned there already that they, they came out uh, victorious in their FA Trophy quarterfinal. Um, what are you expecting from them tomorrow? Oh, a really good side, he's done fantastic. Um, their manager coming in and brought in some real bits of quality. Um, I think their front four are very good, whether that's with a Beck or with a Tavon Campbell. They've got the boys Stevens, Sabara and Shade that fall in behind them and they attack really, really well. Um, Osborne possesses one of the best bits of quality in the division. Um, but we need to play our game. We need to be right on it. The pitch is going to be lush. It's not going to be like Halifax. We've spoke about where we feel we can hurt them, um, where we need to get on the front foot. We need the mindset like we did in recent weeks against Fylde. Um, to ensure that we come out of the blocks um, and take the game to them because as much as I want three points, we need them. Yeah. Um, we're in a, a, a need as, as opposed to a want because we are right in it, mate, and we need to ensure that we do everything we possibly can as a group, sticking together, having the belief, having the confidence to go and get three points on Tuesday. Yeah. You've mentioned the games coming up after the Solio game, obviously Altrincham and Chesterfield. How important is it for you to, to keep confidence high in the squad and, and also keep uh, to keep the togetherness in the squad? Oh yeah, listen, confidence comes with winning games of football and we haven't won enough. Yes, our last six isn't too bad. Our last seven isn't too bad. We've got three wins in that. Um, but confidence comes with winning games of football. Um, a belief comes with winning games of football. So yeah, it's been tough, especially the manner in which we conceded the second on Saturday because we've just taken a lead and I felt like we were the team that could have gone and got the win. Um, but yeah, we'll build each other up, we'll stick together. We've got a belief with the staff and the players to go to Solihull tomorrow night and put on a, a win. Um, we need to make sure that we stick to what's being asked of the players, work together. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, like I say, come back down south for three points. Yeah, and Luke, we'll just finish on obviously injuries. It was good to see David back up, back out on uh, on Saturday. Can you just give us an update on some of the players who were missing? Obviously, no Erico and, and no, no Quezzi either. Yeah, quezzi has got a, a slight concern with his thigh. Um, we believe it's a grade two, so could be two to four weeks with that. Um, Erico, we're hopeful, will be back available. He um, done some bits on Friday, which ruled him out for Saturday. He's massive to what we do at this football club. He's points return and his win stats are heavily up there in the group and we know what influence he has when he's playing for us so fingers crossed that he's available um, nice to have David back yes there's now obviously that competition in that back unit we've still got Marshy back for selection obviously the reasoning behind that was so that we didn't lose him for an, 
remainder of 30% of the games in terms of the running. So he's back available for selection, which is a massive boost. And fingers crossed we go there. They'll be full of confidence. I'll be building them up, getting them prepped, ready to go and get three points.